juice. We got the trucking shades on. Guess that means we should do some trucking. Hey, Dale. Rock and roll. Hopefully we do more rolling than rocking. Double check my trailer. Yeah, yeah, spike the trailer brakes there. Yeah, she's working. Okay, stay at the Petro Pass here in Pickering, Ontario. Just on the east side of Toronto. Nice quiet night, perfect temperature to sleep. It was like seven degrees Celsius, it was perfect. Nice and cool, not too cold. So our first stop is gonna be at the Flying J in Napanee, Ontario. It's a little less than two hours from here. Grab a shower and a coffee. And we'll continue on our way to Nova Scotia. It's a two day drive from here. We stopped at the first on route we saw to get our uh, Timmy's with the bad lids. Come on, Tim's. Listen to the people. Bring back the old lids. The new lids are terrible. All right, let's get out of here. Let's see if we can. Get out of here without hitting anybody. That'd be a that'd be a plus. All right. Not too many people here right now. This place will fill up at night, though. What's this guy doing over there? That's not where you park, bud. He's just sitting there. That, that's. Are you seriously taking a leak right there, man? Seriously, at the there's a bathroom. Really? Continue on this road for 126 kilometers. There's you're literally at the rest stop. They have bathrooms. He's out there taking a leak in the back of the parking lot, out in the open. Wow. Okay, well you know, some people, some people, Diesel. Not all humans are good humans. I think they are, man. All right, here we go, Diesel. Hammer down, man. Let's get back out here. The big bad 401. The biggest highway in the country. This takes us uh, from Toronto. Well, it takes us all the way from Detroit, actually, through Toronto, all the way up to Quebec City, all the biggest population centers of the country. I understand Detroit's in the US, but it'll take you into Detroit if you follow it the other way. But we want to go this way. This way it'll take you all the way up to Quebec City and beyond into Frenchland. Napanee, Ontario. It's time for our shower. And stretch the legs a little bit. We haven't gone that far actually, so I don't want to waste much time here. Mostly just shower, straight to business, you know. This is a massive flying gate. It's one of the older ones along the 401 here. It's one of the first ones built, as far as I know. And uh, it's a big one. It's a big one. There's some more electric charges. Arrived at your destination there. on the left side. You know, Canada has completed their electric highway coast to coast we have uh, we're completely set up for electric vehicles 
I just heard a story of the U.S. wanting to do that soon too. Uh, just you know, for people who want electric vehicles, that they can have, that they can have that and have fuel everywhere they go. Right? We already got that up here. I don't know how many people use it, but I think the technology's got a long way to go before I give up my pickup for an electric vehicle. But if they come up with something better than that Tesla piece of garbage, sorry, I shouldn't call it a piece of garbage. It's actually, it's like a tank, but it looks like a doorstop. I, I don't like it. <laughs> I want a real truck, a pickup truck. And if they make a good electric pickup truck, I'll buy it. Why not? I mean, I'll, I'll look into it, but it's it's got to outperform the pickup I have now. And it's also got to be a Chevy. Those are my two stipulations. Looking pretty cozy there, ma'am. How you doing? Eh? You have three pillows now. Oh, wow. Only lords get three pillows. Lucky you. We have made it into Quebec. Just going over this bridge here uh, as we go around the city of Montreal. Cost $12 for the toll to get around here. I'm guessing that's to pay for this fancy bridge here. No idea what that sign says, Quebec. Everything's in French. So yeah, we have uh, driven about a little under five hours today, so not even quite half a day yet. I'm probably gonna be driving into the night. You know, once you get into that routine, or once you drive into the night once, it sort of spills over into every night after that for a while. That's just how your schedule goes. I'd rather be on a schedule where I'm uh, getting up early and ending early, but it's it's, sometimes tough to get out of that that rush you know just got to work with the hours you're given that's actually quite a big bridge look at that wow diesel you looking at that look at that man i see it man look wow very fancy i don't know what that's you got all these like yellow things on the water down there I guess blocking boats so they don't go through and probably catching garbage and debris. Just swung into the rest area here, uh, just at Quebec City. This is the 
capital of Quebec. It is Quebec, Quebec. It is very Quebec. All right, so I want to get into New Brunswick tonight yet. That's my goal. I want to sleep at that uh, truck stop. Uh, where is that? Grand Rapids. I think it's in Grand Rapids, right? It's just into New Brunswick. It's in northern New Brunswick there on the left-hand side when you're going in from Quebec. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? We stop there all the time when I go there. I haven't been out this way in a while. I'm actually pretty excited to be going back out here to the east. There's a lot of interesting history in Quebec City. When we're allowed to travel again and you guys come visit Canada, don't forget to come to Quebec City. Uh, very different from anything I can tell you about Canada because this is all French. Uh, some of the, I think the oldest cobblestone street in North America is here in Quebec City. It's very, 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 very old city. And uh, I'm sure it'd be great to tour it. Make sure you have a good translator or translating app or something because this city uh, has less English speakers than Montreal. So if you come here, you may have problems communicating depending on where you go. A lot of people still know English, but more people here don't know English than in Montreal. Beautiful city. One day I hope that I can come here and come to their winter festival. They have a really awesome winter festival here every year. Slowly, 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 we're getting there. We're just about in New Brunswick. We're about 30 minutes from where we're gonna stop for night uh, in Edmondson, Edmondston? Edmondston, I think, not Edmonton. Edmondston, New Brunswick. Northern New Brunswick and the French part of New Brunswick. You know, I always forget that there's more country past Quebec. I know, I know the Maritimes are here, but this is how most, this is how people out here must think of Manitoba. You know, they, they forget that we're there. Me, I'm, I'm always like, yeah, we're headed east, Ontario, Quebec, and I just keep going through Quebec, going through Quebec, and suddenly I'm like, oh, there's a whole other part of the country past this yet. Oh, a whole bunch more land and people out here yet. Oh, it's a big country. Wow. Almost forgot about you guys out here. That's why I like to come visit every now and then. Just coming into New Brunswick here and they still have these provincial border checkpoints. I'm gonna stop and talk to somebody? No, nobody wants to talk to me? No. Is this where I'm supposed to go? I'm just following that truck, I have no idea. There's a guy in that little hut over there. I have no idea what's going on here. I guess the trucks just get to roll through, but if you come through here in a car, they're gonna tell you to turn around and go home. I don't know. So is the scale open then? I guess the scale is open then, eh? So I'll wait for this guy to get off the scale before I go onto the scale. I'm so confused. And I thought that we had, oh well. Oh well, they'll, they'll just do what they want to do out here, I guess. Continue on this road for 15 kilometers. Huh. There wasn't even anybody in the scale as far as I could see. Okay, well, that's interesting to know. New Brunswick still has their borders closed. Here we are at the shell. Right beside, what is that? The Gray Rock Entertainment Casino. Approaching destination in 200 meters on the left side. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. New Brunswick, I see you've uh, you installed a roundabout on the other side of that overpass there. I don't know what's going on, man. I don't know, do we need to have a talk? You have arrived at your destination. On the left side, in Munston Truck Stop. Fantastic! What's with all the vining? I turn on the cameras, there's no more vining! That's how I get them to stop. 
whining as soon as the truck stopped, right? Cause he knows that the day is done now. We uh, found a good spot here at the, uh, yeah, so I'm nicely tucked away. We're gonna pull the curtains and uh, go to bed. I'm gonna be sleeping a little late into the day. So if you see my truck and the, per and the curtains are pulled, you know I'm sleeping, okay? Uh, I need to get my sleep. I know that there's a lot of people in the Maritimes that follow me, so I apologize for all the the pokes I'm giving you guys. I love you guys, man. I don't care if you're from the East. That, that's okay. We can get along. We're all Canadians. And uh, But if you do see my truck, usually uh, when I'm out here, people do recognize the truck because there seems to be like a concentration of Trucker Josh followers out here. So if the curtains are pulled during the day, just letting you know I'm sleeping, okay? I'd, I'd appreciate it if you if you didn't knock on the door and wake me up. Uh, but if the curtains are open, I'm either inside or I'm in the back. And if you want to come say hi, totally cool with that. That'd be awesome. It'd be great to meet you. But uh, I'll be in the Maritimes here for a few days. So keep your eyes open. You might see me seeing you seeing me. All right. Give me a wave or a honk. or Don't honk at the truck stop, though. Might wake people up. I'm gonna be, like I said, I'll be sleeping late into the day. So uh, I'm going to pull the curtains, go to bed, and I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Wanted to give you the heads up about the curtains, all right? Because it's happened before. The curtains are pulled. I'm sleeping, and you know, someone comes and knocks on the door. Uh, they just wanted to say hi. They meant well. Doesn't, doesn't really make a difference. Didn't upset me or anything, but uh, I'd prefer to get a full night's sleep if possible. But maybe I'll see you down the road. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Take care, everybody.